What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back in our Let's Play Town Hall 9 account and guys we are getting really close to max on this base and we're going to be trying to max out these walls today and if I did my math right we should be able to max out all those walls which will leave just a few lab upgrades and our hero upgrades to finish off and we'll talk about that here shortly but before we hop into everything let's go ahead and get into today's comment question of the day coming from Tom Cena. Comment question of the day, what country do you want to go on vacation to? Uh, well, it would always be nice to go to Finland for some particular reason. I don't know. I always thought that would be a cool trip to take. But, you know, I never get invited to Finland for some reason. Uh, if you guys want to submit your own comment question of the day, go ahead and do so with CQOTD down there in the comment section. And you might get featured in a future video just like Tom Cena did today. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about what we got going on here. So if we take a look at our builder, we have 40 walls left, which really isn't that much, but we can actually make them a little bit cheaper right now. Normally they're 1 million, but we have a 10% boot or a 10% discount from our gold pass. So we can actually make these a little bit cheaper because as I've been farming, we've unlocked the 15% builder boost, 15% training boost, 15% research boost, which is going to be really, really awesome. Making those cheaper. We also have a clock tower potion. We have some dark looks. We have a power potion and we have some wall rings, which are going to come in nice and handy as well. So we'll go ahead and grab all of that lovely stuff. And we're going to go ahead and start upgrading some walls. We'll talk about the lab and the hero upgrades here in a moment, but let's get at it. We have a total of uh 23 wall rings which means we can right off the bat knock out 23 out of these 40 walls leaving 17 left so let's go ahead we'll select five at a time and we can upgrade five walls at a time using those wall rings they only cost one each which is not bad at all and we are on our way to upgrade the wall rings let's go guys here we go upgrade the wall rings did i just say upgrade the wall rings all right so here's where we run into a little bit of a problem where we can only have three left but we'll go ahead and do it like this and then we'll just upgrade these ones manually. So now they're only 8 .5, or 850,000, which is pretty cheap. And we might even be able to get there. We only have these last 15 walls. So let's see. We can go with gold right there. We can go with pretty much all of our elixir there. And then we just need a little bit more gold to be able to finish off here. About 500,000, which we should be able to get from like one raid, to be honest, guys. So let's talk about what we have going on over here before we go ahead and finish that off. Get going. Get our last set of walls upgraded. Oh, yeah. These are the last walls. Actually, let's do like, let's do this one and this one and then this one. And then that one, we have one more wall left to upgrade, guys. Literally one more wall to upgrade it, to have maxed out walls, which is going to be really, really awesome. So in our laboratory, we have a few upgrades left to go. Uh, we have all of our elixir stuff done, but we do have some dark elixir stuff going. We have our minions left and we have our Valkyries left. And I think we have enough that I want to go ahead and drop off the minions today. Actually, with us collecting enough from that dark elixir pass, we can probably... I'm not going to use that book of ha or the hammer of heroes right now. I see 97 that leaves 30. We could probably just go ahead and grab this Valkyrie upgrade 37 and 59. I'm doing some quick math that'll bring us down to like 70. Yeah, we should be able to. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade the Valks. Let's get the the more expensive one out of the way. Five days and twelve hours, and we will knock that up. Not going to use the book of everything. And then we just need to get twenty seven thousand more for our queen, and we're going to do that by doing some basic wipe farming, uh, wizards and pekas. But we're going to throw in thirty archers because in the gold pass we have get forty stars using 30 archers so we're working on that one we also have to destroy some walls we're one star away from uh getting 15 stars in clan wars i i, I won i must have two starred something or something ah, it's, it's rough uh i need to donate more troops that's for sure so we're gonna go out we're gonna do a little bit of farming and i think after the first raid we're gonna be able to upgrade that last wall guys so stay tuned for that final wall upgrade coming really soon. Alrighty guys, here we go with the base. It looks like it's a semi-dead base, but that shouldn't stop us too much. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna throw some of these archers in over here, uh, just kind of work in. So we gotta use the 30 archers up. Actually, that was probably a bad spot for some archers, but we'll see what we can do. Now uh, we're gonna start in the funnel with our P.E.K.K.A.s. So what I did was I took two P.E.K.K.A.s out to fit the uh, archers in, but it seems to be working pretty well and since this base is a semi-dead base, I think we're going to go ahead and try to save these uh, 
these clan castle bowlers that we have because well I like saving the clan castle bowlers if we can uh, which means I'll actually go ahead and try to save the uh, the clan castle poison as well I'm just gonna let all this stuff work in get towards the center of the base Pekka doing a good job there we just need to get that last little bit of dark elixir let's go ahead and support get the rest of our archers and everything in looks like we get the dark elixir in the center which is great fantastic awesome stuff uh, we got to get that mortar down, and we just need to get that last little bit of gold. That way we can upgrade that last wall section. I don't want to really do it with elixir if I don't have to, because we're a little bit low on elixir. I mean, we, we have some, but we're, we're close to low. We might actually end up having to hit one more raid here. We'll see how it goes. We're getting close to the gold that we need, but I don't think we're going to get there, guys. I think we're going to fizzle out before, but that's okay. The main goal is that Dark Elixir right now. we got to get that Queen upgrading. Actually, hold on. Queen's going to come in clutch right here. Is there enough gold over here to get the wall up? There's clutch. Oh, I think we have enough. 883. I think that is going to be enough. With the bonus, that should be plenty, actually. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we will upgrade our last wall section for our Town Hall 9. Which is going to be really awesome. We're not going to three-star this, so I'm going to hop out of it. There we go. A nice raid. 500,000, 600,000, 3,600 Dark Elixir. Plus that 40k bonus, which is going to help us out. And here we go, guys. Our very last wall segment going up right now in the video. Maxed out walls for Town Hall 9. That's a beautiful thing, guys. That is a beautiful thing. And let's see. My phone went off. Disney Photo Pass. Vacation stuff. Uh, so we got to get our king, our queen, all that kind of stuff up. And we are going to be on our way. So we got to just work on getting that queen upgraded. We need to get about 24,000 more Dark Elixir. I'm going to go out. We're going to hit us another raid here in a moment. We found 4,400 Dark Elixir. We need to absolutely smack that. So we're going to go in. Uh, we're just going to use these archers to kind of funnel out over here. We're going to go uh, with the P.E.K.K.A. here. P.E.K.K.A. here. We're going to start working up into the center. And then we'll kind of go from there. So let's go ahead and get the wall breakers in here. We'll get another P.E.K.K.A. going. Get king, king queen. We're going to go ahead and go for the bowlers on this one as well. Send some of the stuff up in here. Jump through the core. I don't really think we super need that jump, but we'll take it. We'll take the jump in there, and we will make it happen. King and queen all going to work through here. Enemy queen's going to go down. We'll go ahead and freeze right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw Pekka in here. Throw in the rest of those archers. That way we get full credit. Uh, let's go ahead and go uh, rage right there on the bowlers and the stuff all in the core. It looked like there was a P.E.K.K.A. and stuff in there. Now we're just going to work on through here. Keep this all moving. King and Queen are doing well, and that's what we need. We need to get through here, get all that Dark Elixir, which we just did. Uh, that way we can upgrade our heroes, and then we also need to get the three stars uh, for that Archer event, which normally we're not really trying to three star with this army, but sometimes, sometimes you got to go for that triple, so that's what we're going to do here. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that in there. Queen is going down, so let's go ahead and hit her ability. I think we got enough gas left here to get through. The Pekka's soaking up the cannon and the Tesla, but the Pekka's going to go down. Oh, all right, Archer's there. Okay, we can, Archer Queen, rather, is there. I'm just kind of watching everything right here. We're in a decent spot. Queen's doing some weird things. Like, she's shooting the weirdest wall right now. Got our bowlers coming through. We got a Pekka and our king. And there we go. We'll get the three star. That's what we needed. That's what I'm talking about, guys. 4,400 Dark Elixir. And there we go. A nice three star keeping us on the progress for that Archer event. So I was thinking after we complete some of this stuff, we might try. I don't know. We might try some builder base. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys want to see builder base stuff on this account? Or are you kind of like, eh, I don't know. Do you guys want to see me try it? It's a little bit rushed, though. Maybe we do it on one of our better accounts. I don't know, because with the, like the new Builder Hall 9 stuff, I feel like we're going to have to play Builder Hall at some point on some of our accounts. All right, here we go with 4,300. I almost said 3,300. 4,300 Dark Elixir. Let's go ahead and go with the P.E.K.K.A. right there. Um, then we're going to make our main push in over here. We're just going to go ahead and throw the archers. I guess we'll take out those Builder Huts in the corner. We're going to throw the archers all over here. Since we're maxed out on like uh, all of our Golden Elixir upgrades now, Like I don't really feel bad if I don't get all the Golden Elixir. I know that's not the way I should be farming. That's kind of the way I feel right now, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Uh, let's go ahead and jump through here. Do we want to use our bowlers? I think we I think we can get away with not using our bowlers on this one. Let's see. Uh, I mean, it's too late. We committed to not using our bowlers, so we'll see how this works out for us. Uh, with the bows being down, I feel like we can be okay. 
Uh, Wizard's going through. Just trying to keep an eye on everything, especially like the splash damage as you kind of get through the base here. Uh, right there like was a good shot of that mortar hitting our wizards pretty hard. We're going to have those wizards rage up, take out that dark elixir, and we are going to be good. So we always want to at least get the 70%. I guess we need the stars for that archer challenge, but I kind of came to the realization that I don't think we're going to get that archer challenge completed in this video the way we're kind of going. So I think what we're going to do is just focus on getting that dark elixir for the queen and then upgrade the queen and kind of go from there. I mean, going queen going to 25 is going to be huge. It'll help out quite a bit, but we're going to have to start really grinding really hard and getting the king and queen down at the same time. So we're going to really just have to kind of step up our farming game and make sure we're dropping both of our heroes at the same time. That way we can max out this 9. I mean, we are getting super close to maxing this 9 out. I mean, it feels like it went really, really quick. But a lot of people like get to this point where they have like one more lab upgrade and then like 10, 15 total hero levels left. We have 15 uh, at, after the end of today's video. And they just upgrade to Town Hall 10. I really, like, I know it's not the most fun thing to do to grind Dark Elixir, but I really think it's important that you remember, get those heroes maxed out. It's It makes a huge difference at Town Hall 10 uh, to have max 30-30 heroes going in. Oh, we're going to fall just short of the three-star here. All right, we're going to go ahead and pop out of there. Uh, not a bad raid. We'll keep that up. We need a little bit more to get that queen going, but if we can keep finding 4,300 at a time, it's going to go quick. All right, guys, here we go with 5,000 Dark Elixir. That's what I'm talking about. So let's go in. Let's just throw in a bunch of archers behind the P.E.K.K.A. here. Let's just get, like, all the archers in here. Uh, we'll go ahead and get, like, a funnel established. Okay, this is like a trap door right here. It's, like, inviting us right in. That That's pretty interesting, but, I mean... I guess we'll we'll kind of take the bait and go for it, you know. It's it's whatever. We'll go for for their trap right here. We'll go ahead and rage right on through here. We'll heal up those bowlers. Ooh, I was almost late on that heal. Heal up those bowlers. Keep them moving on through the center of the base. We'll get to that dark elixir in the core. Look at those archers going. Uh, let's go ahead and freeze that expo. Town Hall Falls, we already have all the Dark Elixir. I mean, that's what I love about this armor. Army, it just cuts right to the center of the base. You get a little bit of a funnel established, and you're into the, the center of the base. I mean, our bowlers are off in left field right now, but our P.E.K.K.A.s, our Wizards, our King, Queen, they just go in there and tear everything up, and then we're just looking fine. What's our Queen doing, though? Queen does not know what she's doing. She's really confused right now. Queen is having some personal issues right here, guys. Oh my goodness. All right, uh, let's see. We're gonna have to pop her ability. Take out that little baby king. I don't think we're gonna get through here. We're at the 70%. Our queen's gonna go down. Our king and Pekka's are gonna go down. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and hop out of here. We're definitely not gonna be able to finish off that one with the three star, but we get 5K Dark Elixir, which is absolutely huge. All right, guys, I found this Dark Elixir storage on the outside of this base, so we're gonna quickly snipe it with the queen. Uh, it'll just be a quick snipe and it'll just help get us uh, that little bit of extra that we might need uh, Because we're at an awkward spot where we need like 9k So this will kind of fill in that gap or if we find some 4ks we'll be okay Let's actually go ahead. Yes, we don't need gold, but you know, you can never pass that stuff up Don't really worry about uh, losing the raid I'm not worried about trophies, but there's free 2100 dark elixir 5200 dark elixir. That's exactly what we need guys. So let's go ahead We'll start off, uh, we'll, we'll use these archers just to kind of funnel in here, and then we'll just kind of work through. We're going to send everything right up the middle on this one, and I think it should be a, I think we'll be good. There's no reason this shouldn't work out well for us. Let's go ahead and wall break her in. I guess if, uh, if we wall break her fail, that could suck, but I think we're going to be fine. King, queen, bowlers. Get those all working in. Get that, get that. And we'll go ahead and throw a jump down, throw a rage right there. And we are going to work right towards that core. Again, getting right into the core of the base. We're not going to have any issues in there, uh, especially with the base being dead. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw a heal right here. We'll rage up again. We'll keep an eye on the splash. We'll actually freeze right there. And I guess we'll just throw a wizard right there. But look at that. We already got all that dark elixir. Oh, man. I love this army. It's just so simple, so easy, but yet it's so effective at just getting right into the middle of those bases. Like, if you ever have any issues... You just get a funnel and send those P.E.K.K.A.s in. I mean, normally we're running like six P.E.K.K.A.s on this attack uh, just because the P.E.K.K.A.s are absolutely destroying right now at pretty much all Town Hall levels. Uh, we get Union Buster. Nice little achievement. So we get some gem gems. We get some gems in here today. Now we'll get our Queen's ability and we'll get a three-star on this base on top of all that. Like, why 
like that's just incredible it just works so smooth i'm like speechless right now guys let's keep this going we're gonna get one more raid to get that queen upgrading uh we're at ninety-five thousand. she needs about 97 so we'll hit that last raid but we're gonna go ahead let these guys finish up here that 99 percent and right there we're done nice awesome 5200 dark elixir not bad all right guys it's the last one let's i mean let's just go for a dead tunnel 10 here and yeah, let's see if we can make it happen. There's Dark Elixir pretty much all around. So we're going to use these archers to kind of funnel in here. And see if we can work that out. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to go in. So let's go a couple P.E.K.K.A.s here. With a bunch of wizards. We'll go a few wizards here. The wall breakers right there just to get those P.E.K.K.A.s right working in there. We'll rage in there. We'll go another P.E.K.K.A. here. Another wall breaker, like that, and then we'll go. Actually, let's go. Yeah, we can we can just get right up in here. We can go king queen. We'll heal right here. Jump in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we got we got all the dark elixir. That's all that matters. Uh, I would I would like to not zero star this base though. That that would be nice. But we'll see how that works out for us. Tesla's going down. Uh, let's go ahead and freeze right there so our queen doesn't get taken out. King, you're doing king things over there. Queen's on the town hall. Do we have enough to get the town hall down? Because I don't think we're going to get the rest elsewhere. All right, queen, get that town hall down. She's close, guys. There we go. 48. Oh, she's on a storage. All right, 49. We might be able to two-star it. Let's go, king and wizard. Get there. Get that two-star. Nice. We get the two-star. Let's go ahead and pop out of there. And we get the 4K Dark Elixir, which we need to finish upgrading our queen, or to get enough to upgrade our queen. So 97,000. We'll go ahead and upgrade her to level 25, three-day upgrade, and we will end that boost. So what I'm going to do kind of in the downtime is I'm just going to farm like crazy, get that Dark Elixir going, and hopefully get ready for the next upgrade so we can upgrade both heroes at the same time. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.